My grandfather, well, he died of lung cancer in just a few months. Jerry Jones wasn't as tough as Patty Jones. And then there's all my family that's died of Agent Orange. Just all the loving gifts of the New World Order. I I'm very thankful for all of them. Aren't you? You know who I'm worried about, though? Those Russians. Those bad Russians. We, we, you're not patriotic if you don't get behind George Soros, the Nazi collaborator. And, uh, I mean, he fought the Russians in World War II. I mean, of course he fights them now. He's a patriot. He gets ADL awards, just like Schwarzenegger. Your dad's in the SS. You're a product of an SS marriage. You dress up in Hitler outfits and tell Rolling Stone you love Hitler. You get an ADL award. You fight Nazism, you get attacked by the ADL. I was downtown yesterday doing some business and walked out of a restaurant. And they went, excuse me, sir. Would you like to sign our petition to fight the KKK? And I already knew about the petition. It was a ban free speech in Texas. And as I, we've already done reports on it. They're all over the place. And I turned and the guy went, you're Alex Jones. He goes, I'm actually a fan. It was a guy and a girl. And I went, buddy, the ADL is basically run by the New World Order and the government. Excuse me, I had a Freudian slip. The Southern Poverty Law Center basically, I said, you know, basically is run by the same people that run the Klan as a culture clash, just like radical Islam is being funded by the West. He started laughing at that. You know, he must not be too big of a fan if he hadn't done his research and gone and found out that was all true. You know, I said I'd get to all this news, and I haven't done it, have I? Boy, there's a lot of it. Let me do this, because I said I would cover news. Let me uh, do that, and then I'll take some of your phone calls in the whole next hour, interspersed with uh, things like, out of the literally 300 articles here or more. I bet you could count these. I bet there's 300 of them here. Bill Maher, God, a psychotic mass murderer. Can you guys cue that up? Uh, the the the, uh, the Washington Times has has the video clip, but but uh, Bill Maher, God, a psychotic mass murderer who drowns babies. That's what he said to get attention last Friday with his show, uh, with a dwindling audience. Here is the clip where he said he likes to promote death so there's less people so he has more because he's a eugenicist. Bill Maher knows what team he's for. He is a anti-human, ultra-fascist Hitlerian. People go, well, he's Jewish. How, how can he be Hitlerian? Doesn't matter. I mean, you, you could have Hitler-like ideas and be... See, because you want to kill people, I think there's too many people, and you want more for you, and you just let everybody subhuman, kill more people, but don't kill me. I'm Bill Maher, who has writers that make me sound witty, who can't even sell out 1,000-person arenas when he travels. I mean, I could sell out 1,000-person arenas endlessly. Bill Maher's a nobody, but a punk, a coward, an anti-gun sniveling rat bastard. That's not fair to bastards. There's a lot of great men that didn't have a daddy at home. I apologize to all the bastards out there. I mean it. Here's Bill Maher talking about how we need to kill more people. But then when he wants to ban your guns or wants to talk about God being a murderer. No, no. People like you have death in their heart. People like you like to see death. People like you like to exercise raw power. You've said it yourself. Don't blame God because you were given free will, you sniveling maggot. Let's go to the eugenicist, Bill Maher. The Pope is consistently pro-life. I'm consistently pro-death. I'm, I'm <laughs> for the death penalty, although I do believe in more DNA testing. I, mm -hmm. My motto is, let's kill the right people. <laughs> I'm pro-choice. I'm for assisted suicide. I'm for regular suicide. I'm for whatever gets the freeway moving. That's okay. what I'm for. All right, wait, wait. It's too crowded. So the planet is too crowded, and we need to promote death. When I look at the Venn diagram of people who are <laughs> pro-death penalty, and All right, that's enough. choice. Let's stop right there. Oh, yeah, they're inconsistent. Those that are pro-death penalty on average are anti-abortion. That's because it's an innocent baby. These people act like they're intellectuals. They are literally stupid. But they know how to cling to the dark side, cling to the evil, and get off on the power trip. So, so he loves death. And then he says God is a psychotic mass murderer who drowns babies and basically wants to kill people. So you're God, Bill Maher? Because that sounds like you.
That sounds a lot like you. Bill Maher got a psychotic mass murderer who drowns babies. I'm so sick of the public being so dumb and letting scum like Bill Maher sit there and lecture you and lie to you all day long. I mean, he is a predator. He is an uncool, anti-human, sniveling piece of trash. And we need to recognize him as the enemy. We need to recognize Barack Obama as an enemy. Believe me, they're your enemy. And if they ever get their way, folks, they're going to, you think we have the biggest prison population now? It's going to be 10 times that. These are dungeon keepers. These are just words cannot describe what vile scum they are. And they tell us, submit to them and we'll have freedom. No, we'll have slavery and death. I'll never submit to the new world order. Stay with us. It's disgusting. And, and of course, I want to explain this. It's like coral reefs. You can go to the Caribbean and drive in a boat for an hour and never see a coral reef and not see much life. And you come up on a coral reef, it's teeming with life. The cities, people move to the cities because there's jobs. People move to the cities because there's opportunity, there's excitement. But yes, that means there's then lines. Like going to a good movie, there's going to be big lines. Or going to a really good play, there's going to be big lines. The play that's not any good is not going to have any lines. And it's not going to be out on the street very long because no one's going to come to it. If we don't have 2.1 children... No one's going to be there to take care of the old people. And by the way, they don't intend that. They're going to euthanize you, yuppies. They're teaching you how to be alone, be friends with your smartphone, and teaching you how sexy euthanasia is because that's the plan for the baby boomers. And then that's the plan for the Generation Xers. And that's the plan for the precious millennials and everyone else. What am I? I'm 40. Is that a Gen Xer? I'm not supposed to be successful. I'm a nobody. Because the old folks told me so. Now I'm old. I'm not as trendy. I'm joking. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, this has all been actuaried out and is on record. They are going to kill everybody. And they're going to do it in a very orderly fashion. And you've got case for killing granny and how wonderful it is to commit suicide and how great it is to kill people and blah, blah, blah trying to turn off your life force so the globalists can have all the resources. NASA's out today. It's up on Infowars.com, the London Guardian story, saying society's probably going to collapse and that it's unsustainable. And that, you know, they need emergency global measures to stabilize it. They create artificial scarcity. They begin to collapse the world economy, Agenda 21, on record, and then think we're so dumb, we don't read their own white papers from Club of Rome 1967 with this current battle plan of neo-feudalistic serfdom. They are cutting off the resources and are going to tax you to the level where you live in a 20-foot you know, long, wide little box, if you're lucky, 250 square feet. They're shutting off everything. They're, they are putting us under siege. We are becoming literal slaves. Wake up. I'm going to come back with the phone number out, get into all the news, and I will get into the Internet takeover. It's exhausting to read all this news and then try to go on air and cover it again. i got to be honest. Because I read all this stuff, and then it's like, uh, it's like I've already seen the movie. It's like, ugh. Every one of these articles is like, ugh. But it's good to get the poison out. It's good to break it all down, so I'm going to do it. Now, continuing here, just briefly, this hour was brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. They're great patriots. They have super high-quality non-GMO food, and they got a lot of other great preparedness items. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. And uh, they make the show possible, and it's where I get my storable foods. And you're crazy. I mean, in this world with all this stuff going on, if you don't have some storable food and a firearm and basic water filter, I think you're crazy. I mean, that's what I got. So, mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex. And don't forget infowarsstore.com for all the other items that help fund the operation and are great items. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. 
In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139.